The Heinkel HE 111 is a German long range medium bomber that saw service throughout World War II. In anticipation of an attack from behind, much of the 111's armour protection covers the rear, and parts of the aircraft are visible from behind. The Heinkel is crewed by five men a pilot, navigator, radio operator, and two gunners. The radio operator mans the dorsal turret on top of the aircraft. One gunner resides in the gondola beneath the aircraft, manning the weaponry there, and the second gunner mans both waist guns, switching between them in response to where a threat is. The navigator mans the gun in the nose. On earlier models, this is a rifle caliber MG. On later models, this is a 20mm Ehrlich and Cannon. The wings are thick, and usually durable. They can take punishment from rifle caliber machine guns, but heavy MGs and cannons won't have too much trouble damaging them, or even cutting them off with a sustained burst of accurate fire. There are two separate fuel tanks in each wing, to the left and the right of each engine. There is also one fuel tank in the bottom of the fuselage towards the middle, and an oil tank next to it. Additionally, there is an oil tank behind each engine. On most models, not including the very earliest, all of these tanks are self-sealing. The engines have no armour protection, neither do the radiators beneath them. However, the radiator exhausts on top of the engines have between 5 and 8mm of armour plating. The engine should be a priority target, especially if engaging with a lightly armed aircraft. The base of the pilot's seat has 5mm of armour protection, and the back has 10 The floor of the navigator's position in the nose is 5mm thick. The glass over the dorsal gunner's position is 16mm thick. There is an 8mm thick steel plate inside the fuselage covering the dorsal gunner's body from rear attacks. The walls and floor of the ventral gondola are protected by 6mm thick steel plates. The gondola gunner is protected from upper rear attacks by a sloping plate of 8mm thick armour inside the fuselage. The 111 is well protected against smaller calibre weapons from the rear, particularly the crew positions. Larger weapons will easily damage the wings but firing into the fuselage won't be as successful, as there are many armoured plates, and most of these overlap. The weakest part of the aircraft is the engine, as it has no additional armour protection. The strongest part is the glass covering of the dorsal gun. It's 6 centimetres thick, making it impervious to virtually any attack. When attacking from the front, the 111 is very vulnerable. Not only the engines and radiators exposed, but the cockpit is a very noticeable target, protected only by glass a few millimetres thick. The navigator and pilot are very vulnerable. Attacking from the front side is recommended. Not only is the attacking aircraft harder to hit, but the vulnerable parts of the bomber are exposed. The turret positions cover most of the aircraft, with a few blind spots to the side of the cockpit and from directly behind, when neither the dorsal or ventral gunners can see the attacker, but this area is very small. Overall, the Heinkel is a fairly easy target to bring down, unless attacked by weapons of rifle calibre. The plane is lightly defended in terms of armament, but later models were equipped with a heavy machine gun in the dorsal position and a 20mm cannon in the nose, so keep this in mind.